All right, we're here again in our SharePoint home page. Um, now, one thing you might want to do while working with SharePoint is actually work out of the Office suite, such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, and actually create documents from Word that you can then just save straight into SharePoint. So today what we're going to be looking at is less of the SharePoint web browser side and more of uh, working with other Office tools in conjunction with SharePoint. So what I'm going to do initially is just come down and open up Word. And we'll just bring this up here. Right, and I'm just going to come and create a new document. So we'll type in this is a test document. And now I've created this document here on my laptop, but I need to save it into SharePoint. So what I'm going to do there is go to File, select Save As, and you'll notice with anything above Office 2013, so if you're on Office 2013 or 2016, you'll notice these OneDrive sites, uh, as well as another OneDrive, uh, this PC, as well as some options to add a place or browse. So these top two are the, the ones that we're interested in today. So we have OneDrive, which is my company OneDrive, the personal storage I get with Office 365, and below it I have my SharePoint site. So what I'm going to do here is just click on my shared documents, which is the same shared documents we've been working with in previous videos when in SharePoint. And what we can see here is exactly the documents that are currently available in that SharePoint document library. So to what I'm going to go and do and save this, we'll just uh, keep the name, this is a test document for the moment, and I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now if my organisation was using custom tags or custom columns, I would actually be prompted at the saving stage to fill out the required tags or any required fields um, that were enabled. Coming over to my SharePoint homepage now, we can see here if I just come across to the shared documents, we'll receive a very similar view from uh, what we had when I was saving. And looking through the list here, we'll have an asterisk on the new document represented by this green asterisk here. And of course, this is a test document. It was done by user temp, which was the user I was signed into Word as at the time. And if I click on the document here, it'll open it in Word Online. And there is the, this is a test document. I can of course then go to edit in Word, which will return me to Microsoft Word and I can continue making edits. All right, so this will actually be available in all Office applications, uh, whether it be Excel, Word, uh, PowerPoint, or any of the sort. And you can pretty much see those. Same options for saving here as well. Another useful thing is you may actually open files directly from Word or Excel. So again, I'm going to go on back over to Word. You can see here the recent files I've been working on, which are all coming from my SharePoint site. However, what I'm going to do is go open other documents. And again here we have a very similar screen to what we had when we were saving. I'm going to go to Sites, Shared Documents, 
And again here we're, we're sort of working in reverse and instead of accessing the files via the web browser you can actually use Word to then come in, find a document you would like to view or work on and simply open it up in Word directly. And you can see we're, we're back to just where we left off. This functionality is also not limited to Microsoft Suite and you might actually find other third-party applications that can have the same integration. For example, if I come over to Adobe, either Adobe Reader or Acrobat, you'll notice on the left-hand side under Storage, I have here any additional setups I've added, in which case I've got Temp. This is just going to go through and load any files. And again, here we have pretty much a full list of anything that was in that shared documents library on our SharePoint page. So I can come in here and find any PDF documents I have and open them directly in Adobe without needing to go into the SharePoint homepage first to access the document. Alright, so that's been how you can save or open documents into and out of SharePoint using the Microsoft Office Suite and Adobe directly. So as you can see, uh, SharePoint can be quite flexible when actually uh, trying to save documents or open documents. Thank you for joining me. My name is Dennis, and for any questions, please reach out via the links below. Thank you.